Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Read the Wheel of Time. Today we're at chapter 34. But before we start, I want to do some advertising. Very short, very short. So I'm currently reacting to 1899, a new show by the Dark Producers. And episode one is up here. So if you want a mystery show that I like try to melt my mind over, you can see me doing that there. So I would be very glad if you would find time to just check it out. And also um, Bleach uh, reactions are up uh, still. Um, so if you want to see me have an emotional breakdown as I did with Hurin, not that bad, but almost, you can check out the Bleach reaction to that here as well. So anyway, let's go to the, let's go to the chapter. So we have the wheel and uh, Bryce's uh, uh, profile pic, which is the wheel and the snake. So Euroboros. Um, it's called a different dance. Um, okay, so they are showing their room, so I assume it's still parent perspective. So we we are still with them. Like I noticed it, like it's like three to two to three chapters always with a character and then they shift. I like that. It's a good pace, like it fits. And he still thinks uh, about the black haired girl, and I hope we will meet her uh, down the line. A bit more personal. Uh, you know what I mean. Oh, there's another false dragon in Geldon. Okay, so, and the stupid innkeeper now says, yeah, don't worry about that, it's far away. And <laughs> Len's like, answer her. Yeah, answer her. Oh. Oh, 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 I see. So there's a man proclaiming the dragon, not proclaiming to be the dragon. So he's like, and he will rise and fight in the skies, the dark one, for he is our dragon, and he will rise and rise and ride the world until he spreads his mighty power to crush the dark one and Shailgul once and for all. Hear me proclaim. Something like that, I, I, I assume. So... I, I think that's cool. So there are prophets prophesizing rent or proclaiming rent. Yeah, and he he's linked to Arthur Hawk Arthur Hawkwing's armies and uh, to Toman Head, apparently, and yeah. And he's like, I'm just just reporting here, mate. Lan, Lan, uh, I'm sorry, Master Andra, I'm reporting here. Don't be mad at me. Oh, and he says even the beasts will fight for the dragon. That's probably because Perrin will be at his side and he will probably command beasts. And that might mean, and I hope it does, but it's okay if it doesn't, but it, I hope it does mean that Perrin will control other animals than wolves. Or like not control, you know, um, and communicate with and bring them to his side. Like diplomacy, not power. You know, that kind of thing, you know. Oh, it's Masima! No, it's Masima! I think it, the, the weird prophet dude is Masima. You know what? That would make sense, and I like that. I liked, I liked Masima's zealousy, zealousness, whatever you say. Um, I really liked that last book. Really, really, or, or this book as well. Wasn't it in this book as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was not the first, I think, chapter 3 or something. So Masima has gone completely off the rails. I knew he would do that. But I hope it won't be too bad for Rand that he's like doing this. I knew a fellow once who liked to make wild speeches. You remember him, Lady Alice, don't you? Masima. <laughs> Masima, yes, of course. I had put him out of my mind. When next I see Masima, he will wish someone had peeled his hide to make boots. Oh. Yeah, she's probably mad about that. Oh, and she slammed the door. So she must. Yes, things are. I. I don't. I just have this feeling that things are getting out of her hands, like out of her control. When Rand went went away and stuff, like she's starting to lose the grip on things. Oh, they had an old Ogre bed brought from the attic for Loyal. That's cool. Okay, so the black-haired young woman worried him, and the caged Aiel. Those two things would worry me too, especially, like, why would the Aiel be caught? Like, or, or like 20 t against 6, they should have won. Still, I, I still stand by that. 
Is he gonna go to Telerandriot Thera now? Okay, Loyal comes in. That's cool. Oh, he's like, Perrin, 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 you will not believe what just happened. My bed. My bed is sung wood. Why? It must be well over a thousand years old. Oh, I'm glad that Loyal has, yeah. That no tree singer has sung a piece so large in at least that long. Oh. So he's the be one of the best that can sing wood and he couldn't produce a bed like this. That's so cool. And parents just like, yeah, yeah, that's that's very interesting. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah. I think it's interesting too, but why is Perry and uh, Perry and Perrin is so distracted? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean I get it why, of course, but interesting. So an ideal in a cage, that is what Min said. What was that girl staring at me? Uh, why was that girl staring at me? I wonder so as well. Supper is ready below, Perrin. You go on, Loyal, I'm not hungry. Yeah, Perrin, don't be mean to him. He just wants, he just wants to be, like, accepted and with you. And he, he I'm so, so happy that, that, like, be happy for him as well, Perrin. I'm happy for Loyal. Be happy for him as well. Yeah, now he's, like, thinking about smithing stuff again. I like that, by the way, that Master Luhan is coming in again in his memories, teaching him to smith. That would have been so cool in the show as well that he remembered that. But in the show, was there even a Master Luhan or was his... This was just his wife, wasn't it? Like his... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, why did she pick you to stare at? And the Aiel. Yeah, yeah, Min had seen it. Yeah, and parents like, I should have tried to stop the children throwing rocks at the person. Yes, probably. I have to do something, don't I? What What do you have to do? Okay, he's he's going out. He, he's leaving. Oh God, where is he going? No, 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 no. Don't do something stupid. Oh, he went into Moraine's room and... Oh, she was naked. Okay, did. Okay. Yeah, you should not just rush into girls' rooms. And she's like, you wish for something, Mr. Anders, and whatever. <laughs> I thought Wolin was here. <laughs> you two always have your heads stood together. I thought he'd, I thought, what do you want, Perrin? Yeah, is this Lance doing the Hunters and the Aiel? Yeah, the Hunters of the Horn and the Aiel. It's not Lorenz doing, she says. And she must make a choice. Choices are bad. Like, let, let Matt do the choice. He will have luck. Okay, did he take a ship or did he cross the river? Yeah, and, and Rand manages to always stay ahead. That might also have to do with what the wheel wants currently. It makes him be able to... Yeah, 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 I think so, yeah. That's my hypothesis, at least. Ah, and she, yeah, she doesn't, she, she's now asked by Perrin if uh, she has seen a dark friend, because she can feel them, because of the girl, so, yeah. Yeah, and she's like, no, I cannot tell most of the time. Okay, now, and she's, yeah, he tells her about the girl. That's probably not stupid. I like that. At least he, someone talks to someone. And she's just like, yeah, she was into you, mate. She was just into you. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, wow, she was pretty, pretty. And pretty old. I think. Yeah, he's like very confused now. Okay, now he's thinking about... Matt, who would have liked her to dance. Oh, is he going to dance with the blackout girl? I would like that. Yeah, and he has to rip himself out of his thoughts because he's thinking too much about Moraine now. Yep, okay. I mean, I get it. He's like, what is he, 16?
Okay, and this Auburn dude is telling about how he, like, sliced up. Are you? Yeah, no one glances at parent twice, all are listening to Auburn's tale. It's a pretty cool tale, I think. Okay. Is he going towards the cage now? Let's see. And he has the feeling of being watched. Is that the dark-haired girl or is that Celine? I think he's trying to set him free. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, I think. So just because she told him that the cage was important, he now thinks it is and he will now act on it. I think, perhaps? Yeah, okay. So... Uh... The cage is apparently not well made, and so he's angry because his blacksmithness is uh, hurt by another idiot's foolery and bad work. <laughs> so he opens and the ear, I just like, that's how he is. And parents are like, I'm not gonna carry you, mate. Should go out now on your own. And that's also clever, so a parent can now just go. You are strong, wet lender. I took three men to hoist me up here, and now you bring me down. Why? Yeah, I yell, why? And he's like, I don't like seeing people in cages. Yeah. Will you get out of there before somebody comes? <laughs> yeah. Perhaps he wants to be in there. Perhaps that's a plan. Perhaps that is their plan. Perhaps that was the plan to get captured so they can at night, like, destroy the village? For some reason? I, I have no clue. I just don't believe 20 Aeel were, like, beaten. I have been in there since yesterday, Wetlander. And he, he needs some time to get his legs to work, and he's called Gaul. Of the Imram Sept... Of the Sharad Ail, I am Shane uh, Sheen Mental, the Stone Dog. My water is yours. Yeah, they're so fremen. <laughs> He's a friend. <laughs> well, I'm Perinabara. Yeah. If I had thought, I would have brought you some water. Why do you call me wetlander? Yeah, well, because you're not from a desert, mate. Everyone not from a desert is a wetlander. So what are they go or calling sea folk? Waterlanders? Oceanlanders? Three days ago, I watched a girl sporting in a huge pool of water. It must have been 20 paces across. She pulled herself out, out into it. Brave girl crossing these rivers nearly unmanned me. Has nearly unmanned me. Does that mean like the, the intimate unmanning? Is that a thing? Or is it like taking his head? Lost in translation. I mean, the translation I have in my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Fremen fear of rivers, I see. Why are you here, Gaul? We search, we look for he who comes with the dawn. Yeah, man, it's like my best mate. <laughs> I'm looking for him too, and he is on his way to Tyr. Yeah, so Gaul is surprised that he wants to go to Tyr. Um, oh, but it must be. Prophecy says when the stone of Tyr falls, we will leave the threefold land at last. So that's probably going to be the next book. So I assume Tyr is going to fall in the end of this book. I don't know why. It's a hunch. So I'm pretty sure it falls and then the Aeol will come. Or perhaps next books it will fall. But I, Because Tyr is going to be the finale of this book. 100%. If it's not, I don't know I don't know who I am anymore, you know? It says we will be changed and find again what's ours and what's lost. Are you gonna find the, the sapling? This this holy tree that you uh, gifted to the Kerchen? It's too late to run. The savage is... The savage is loose! <laughs> Okay, so white clothes are now coming. Why? Yeah. So they probably saw he broke out. 
Oh, he's veiling himself. Do you like to dance, Perenai? But, uh, yeah, they can fight together now because they both are against White Clothes. Okay, so he's like dancing around them and by that mean, uh, I mean stabbing them. Okay, he's just soloing all of them. So how did they lose to six stupid hunters? Perhaps he wanted to get information or something like that. Okay, he just so 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 uh, Perrin axed one man's throat. Great. Yeah, he's he's at it again. He's at it's so stupid. He's now going to be even more feared by the white clothes now that he like axes all of them. And he hates the axe, but he still uses it because he doesn't want to die. Such I love that. Okay, so they ended a dozen white cloaks. Great. Okay, and most of them were gold's work. Okay. <laughs> you do not dance the spears badly, Perenai Bara. That's so cool. Yeah, dancing the spears. So they probably fight with spears normally. I don't know why. Someone told me that's important why, but... And I know the women are the maidens of the spear as well. I don't see how 12 men fought 20 of you and one, even if two of them are hunters. Is that what they say? Oh, please. I, oh, I just got a hunch. Please tell me it was not all Gaul. Gaul just effed them up so badly. Let's see what the truth is. Oh, I think we're gonna get it now. Are you hype? Are you hype? <laughs> so they were two. Okay, two people. Two people against six. Probably more. It is time for running now, Wetlander. Here, I will remember it. May you always find water and shade, Perenaibara. And Gaul is gone. I hope we get him back. I hope he will be a, a major character down the line. Or perhaps some other Aiel. I want an Aiel in our little quest group. I know we technically have Rand, but someone who has the, the idea about the Aiel. Like their, their ways. I like them. I like Fremen type characters. Okay, and he runs away. Now he sees her again. And she turned to run. She darted back into the street and vanished. Why? Lennon's, a, Lennon's appearing is like, did you do this? Perrin, please tell me you didn't do this. Mudral detective will find us now. The girl, I think she saw. I don't want you to hurt her, Len. Plenty of others could have seen too. They are lighted, there, there are lighted windows all around. Okay. Saw a girl running, but I thought, no matter. What did you think? Man, what did you think? Where is, who is this new mystery girl? I want to meet her. Is that the third girl or is that Perrin's girl? I don't know. Yeah, don't ask questions, Blacksmith. Do it. Run! That was the chapter. Loved this one. Loved it. Great stuff. Great stuff. So, um, I hope we, we stay with Perrin now because I want to know who, that's, who that girl is. I want her name, her character, her journey, her goals, her loves and hates. You know what I mean? Because I like mysterious cool characters that like are like you know they're gonna be important, I think. So um Yeah. Let's see. Anyway, I hope you liked this one. Uh if you did, consider liking, subscribing, and commenting, of course, as always. And I might not be able to get a video out tomorrow or on Saturday because I've got uh a work on weekend, unfortunately. And um yeah, so, but anyway, so Sunday I'll be definitely back. And I hope you have a great, great day as always. And please take care of yourself. And uh, see you soon. Bye.